Hello everybody, Moose here, and I'm about done with my house, so let's just, uh, finish it up here. Goddamn teenagers! No! Damn it. <laughs> you foiled me again. Everybody moves here, and I'm going to show you today how to make a custom house that doesn't suck. Because everybody can use a hammer. That's a metaphor. <laughs> everybody can pick up a hammer and use it. But don't say that they can't use it right. <laughs> well, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, your own custom house. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Look at it, it's pretty nice, don't you think? One of the best houses I ever made, that's for sure. So, first things first. Uh, you want to um, lay out your rooms when you're in your house, just like, like just like so. And after that, you want to make some obvious points and stuff. And then after that, you want to lay out where your doors go. Like that's where one door should go, maybe back door. And then, uh, then um, map out where your stairs goes if, if it's a second story. Pick any block of your choosing. Also, you can incorporate rounded blocks and also rooms with different heights of ceilings, which looks, which look pretty pretty well. If I do say my, if I do say so myself. So yeah, want to pick the floor type of any type you want. So what should I do for the next few minutes? Oh, should you? Eh. Oh my god! Totally complain this out enough. Um, <laughs> so professional. Okay then. Well, custom house is right there. You just want to make a whole bunch of blocks or circles, or blocky squares, circles. Stack them on top of each other. If you want, you can add multiple stories to one of these. This should look pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, I might as well show you how to make a custom train then, since I've already done so early. So this is my custom train. I think it looks pretty well, pretty good, pretty good. Don't you think so? No. Okay. <laughs> so when you're starting off with a custom train. You always want to keep in some consideration. You want to always put down the wheels and stuff. So I'm gonna show you. So, oh, like you know how most trains have the four wheels. You know, you want to make like each train car should like look exactly the same uh, width. Yes, width. Totally not losing my mind. Uh, always the exact same width, and then you want to uh, get rid of these blocks, right? After that, you want to build up where the back, the back and front of the trains, train were. It's a lot easier. Uh, professional. Uh, <coughs> I should have waited a little bit longer. Before I start recording a video, that's for sure. Oh no, yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. If you live in America, no, well then, have a good day. <laughs> uh, and after that, I'm gonna take your slabs of any choice you want, lead it around like so. So this is basically the base for your train car. If you can choose any blocks, block of your choice, and also remember to put your buttons on the wheels. So it looks quite fancy. Oh god, I got a song playing in my head. It won't stop. Uh, any block of your choice. Now these um. These trains are good for like decoration, you know. They're not really for any practical use, but 
but they look pretty good if you're trying to make your own map and stuff, you know. Like so. And then after that, if you want, like, a um, boxcar, you always want to pick, like, the woody stuff, you know. Since boxcars are dirty, you want to mix in some wood, you know, like, laid out like so you always want to keep an opening for the main door anyways. Just keep it like that, like that. Dish. Go. There's always another side to a boxcar. Stack hay bales. Anything you want. You can use it for storage, you know. say my <coughs> my other building video the lock variety is key to making a good building also uh, detail comes last even though I'm kind of uh, ruining that rule by adding the uh, different colors of wood though so you, can, you guys get the basic gist and if you already got what you got you can pretty much leave now if you no, if you want to finish, what we finish this, finish this off and stay. Because I'm probably not going to do anything else in this video. So. All of that looks nice. So nice. Uh, now for the people that stuck around, like a little another extra tip that I just sought up. <coughs> like. Like, um, your first floor should always, like, tour to be three to two high, you know. It's easier that way. And after that, you want to choose any, any block tab for the roof you're choosing. dry and ship a lot of it at the same time. So I've always want to add a roof as you can see. And after that one too. I'm sorry, I'm not talking. Right now, I need to drink more coffee. More coffee. After that, cobblestone is always a uh, cobblestone wall. It's always a good choice. Put them for the connectors for the train itself. Get the basic gist, right? You can do whatever the hell you want with this design. You can even make a two-story train if you if you uh, like. Sorry if I sound like I'm giving you permission to do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> uh, no. Professional. Maybe add a few trapdoors. Trapdoors never hurt anyone, except that the people that fall down and break the necks. Yes. Uh, can add, uh, then you can add a chest inside, or any like lighting, or you can do have your own custom scenarios and stuff, which would be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Cool. Pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Put some hay in here. Put some 
block on it. There we go. Now I showed you how to build uh, your custom trains. Custom train cars. Maybe I'll show you how to build your own uh, locomotive uh, in a later video. But I don't want to shove out all my cards too early. So this was the Gaming Moose, and I'll see you all in the next video, whatever I decide to put up. Uh, bye, and have a good one.